Hi there, it's Father Matthew at Christ the King. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. Today is the first Sunday of Lent, and I hope that the first few days of Lent have been a blessed time of grace and renewal for you. I wanted to share a little thought about Lent as a sacrifice of praise. This came about from the prayer over the offerings, uh, as we pray, as we prepare the altar for the Eucharist, uh, during Mass on Friday after Ash Wednesday. The prayer that we prayed uh, goes like this. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. And it struck me that we often will think of the things we undertake in Lent, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, maybe some other practices as well, as a sacrifice, for sure, and we think about it often in terms of how that helps me. The additional prayer, fasting, almsgiving that I undertake during Lent does add to my powers of self-restraint. It does help me grow in virtue, or grow in my relationship with God, or become more generous, or restrain my faults. This is all very real. Yet there's another aspect to our Lenten observance as a sacrifice that I'm not sure we think about all that much. And that is how it is a sacrifice of praise. It's something that we offer to God in recognition for all that he has done for us, for all that he has given us, his great love and mercy for us. It's a sacrifice that we unite to Jesus' one sacrifice on the cross. Hence, it is a sacrifice of praise. This sacrifice of our Lenten observance is meant to be acceptable to God. And that prayer that we prayed this past Friday uh, asked him to make it such. So some food for thought as these early days of Lent, maybe you're still settling into the groove, settling into just exactly what you want to undertake for your Lenten observance. Remember that in addition to the way that it helps you and me grow in virtue and holiness and in our relationship with God and one another, it's also a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving that we offer to God. I hope that's some food for thought that maybe is helpful to you in sticking with your observances for Lent so that God's able to continue renewing you during this season. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. I wish you blessings on your Lenten observance. If you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we have some new content. God bless you.